we reach a point in the COVID-19 pandemic where vaccine supply is greater than demand, public health departments and care providers can use ArcGIS to coordinate the delivery of vaccines to the more hard-to-reach members of their communities. In this video, we'll introduce how ArcGIS can help with identifying locations to mobilize, planning route assignments, assisting vaccine providers to reach their destinations and report their progress, and how the entire process can be monitored in real time. Using the vaccine coverage analysis solution, we can begin to see the locations where vaccines are hard to come by, where a mobile vaccine clinic might make sense. We can visualize the locations that are in or out of a reasonable driving distance from vaccine providers shown at left. On the right, we can see a statistical risk surface for vaccine accessibility, ranking each region from high to low based on variables of concern. These can give us some places to start. Businesses may wish to host a vaccine clinic for their employees or their community. Using Survey123, an organization might request to partner with the health department for this activity and communicate their needs and circumstances. Private residents might do the same thing. A public Survey123 form on the health department's website can be made available for homebound individuals to request a home vaccination visit. This might serve people with severe disabilities or their care providers, or maybe those with transportation limitations where public transportation is poor. After the resident enters their personal information, a care provider can enter their information as well if they're to serve as a primary contact, or the resident can self-request. They can provide information about how best to communicate with them or any important information for a vaccine provider coming on site. Lastly, the resident can answer any required health-related questions and provide the location of their home. As an alternative to self-enrollment, a preloaded list of candidates can also be submitted to the GIS quickly and seamlessly. It may be that a list of names is made available from existing registries, such as billing and claims data provided by a hospital or health system, or listings from the local fire department. No matter where the list of patients comes from, ArcGIS can be used in the process. People whose names are submitted, whether individually or in batch, can be contacted through a call center to confirm their interest and schedule an appointment. In this dashboard, we can see the latest entry at the top of the list. We can filter our list by those that have not yet been called, those that have been called but not yet answered, and those for whom we have a bad phone number. We can also see those that have refused the vaccine, indicated by the brown 2 on the left-hand side, and those that have already been processed through the call center, shown by the black 167. We can also filter by language, so that employees with a language skill can prioritize their efforts based on need. And we can search by a client's name directly, so that if a client were to call back, their record can quickly be found. When I choose a name to call, a survey appears to guide the conversation and record what is learned. It includes some dialogue for the caller to follow. The patient may need a point of contact to be designated, especially if their name came from a medical listing. After confirming interest and verifying contact information, the caller can list the number of people in the household that should be vaccinated to make sure the provider brings enough doses and then choose a date for the home visit. We can confirm any information that was provided by the client in the enrollment survey, and then ask any relevant health questions according to the needs of the organization and confirm that the vaccine has been scheduled. When the survey is submitted, the point on the map will turn black, indicating it's been fully processed by the call center and the patient is ready to be assigned to a vaccine provider. Each morning before field crews are dispatched to administer the vaccines, it would be best to give them an optimized route to follow. This route may account for traffic and road closures and ensure that the workload is evenly distributed among the staff, not just in terms of the number of vaccines they have to give, but the amount of driving time and distance required. ArcGIS has several tools to balance this workload and generate an optimized route for each field team. 
Within a simple interface, a dispatcher can view the appointments for the day and plan optimized routes. This accounts for the starting and ending locations, like a cold storage facility, starting times, and even a return location, like a vehicle depot where the car could be returned at the end of the day. Users can also select the number of vehicles for the given day, the maximum number of stops for any field crew, the projected amount of time at each stop, and the maximum amount of time that a crew should spend working, like eight hours. And the result is a layer where every stop has been assigned to a team. An optimal route has been also designed for them to follow. Now, we'll see this information in action in a moment, but we want to show that there are other ways of generating this information. The workflow presented can also be run as a script, meaning that this can be an automated process run every evening. Results can then be visualized in ArcGIS, or it can be part of an automated export to a third-party system. So now what I am going to do is I want to answer the question how we can take those routes created by our routing solver and then assign them to our field workers. So to answer that question, I'm going to use a couple of applications that I really want to show you. The first one is this one is a dashboard. We call this dashboard the homebound vaccination dashboard. And you can see on the left of this dashboard that we have each of the routes created by Mike. On the right side, we have the map that shows all the routes as well as the stops. If I click any of these routes, you can see right now a new list that shows you each of the stops and you have uh, an identifier, a different color in the background for those stops that right now are already uh, done by my field workers. Now the question is how my field workers can use these dashboards on the field? And to answer that question, I'm going to show you my cell phone here through this mirroring software. So this is my cell phone. I'm going to open the same dashboard now, but using uh, my mobile device. And now you can see that it is loading the same uh, dashboard. But as you can imagine, this is a responsive dashboard. So pretty easily, I can see the same information on a mobile device. Now, what I'm going to do is I know that stop two, three, four, and five are already done. I'm gonna start my uh, assignment for stop six. So I'm gonna click here. Then I can check the details of that specific assignment. I know that um, the name of the person I need to contact is Kevin. And if I want to uh, use the software to map me there to drive to give me driving directions there I can click on map automatically it's gonna open Google Maps it's gonna generate the route and right now I am in S3 headquarters here in California so it's gonna take me one day to arrive to my destination um, but because we really want to save lives we're gonna do it right so let's say that uh, my field worker performed the route. And then once they are on site, the next step is to administer the vaccine. So what I'm going to do is click on survey. It's going to open the new survey. You can specify that this is a Pfizer vaccine. This is the first dose. Automatically generates the date. Uh, and then, as you can imagine, we're going to wait uh, 10 to 15 minutes to see if there is any adverse reactions. I can put some comments if I need to here and specify some other details and I can submit this information. One thing that I really want to highlight here is that you can see how easy it is to navigate between applications. So here again, I am in the survey, my dashboard, pretty uh, quickly. So 
This is an amazing application for my field workers, very simple. And the most important part is that you can monitor in real time uh, the information that is being collected. So in order to do that, we have a different dashboard. This is the mobile vaccination progress dashboard. And here you can see that we have the total number of clients, um, all of those that has been contacted by my uh, call center, as well as other key indicators. We can filter this information if we need to, to identify specific, uh, specific populations that we want to target. And also we have the map that show us the distribution of the people that are getting the vaccine so far.